guys welcome back to my channel life with Flo. in today's video i decided to do an in-home salon tour of my hair salon that i have right here in one of my bedrooms of my apartments so a lot of you guys have asked me about my space uh, where i got everything from how i set it up what it's like to work from home things like that so i decided to make this video for you guys so if you're interested definitely definitely stay tuned and let's get right into the video Okay guys, so the very first thing I want to share with you guys is the fact that I have my TV on mounted on the wall. A lot of people comment on that, but yeah, I just decided to have the TV mounted on the wall. My clients will have something to direct their focus, keep their head still, their head is not all the way down, looking at their phone the whole time. So I like that I have the TV mounted, um, not too high, but fairly high on the wall. And then I just had my uncle do that when he came to visit me, which was very nice of him. And I just kind of um, hid the cords with this little um, hider. I got that off of Amazon and it just hides the cords on the wall. And then guys, we have here the grass wall. So this is some of your favorites um, that is in my room. A lot of people ask me about the wall grass wall. I got off of Amazon and it cost me about um, like $100 or so, and it came four by four, so it's 16 pieces, and I just put them together, and then I pinned it on the wall in different areas. There's holes behind the grass, so I just stuck a pin through it so it could stay up on the wall, all along the top, some in the middle, and even some on the bottom. And then um, these small flowers I got off of Amazon as well, but it came on a long vine of flowers and I just plucked them off and put them on the wall. Actually, I didn't do it guys, my assistant did it, but it was a really good idea and it looks cute and it looks very unique. So like when I'm taking pictures of my clients and they see that wall, they will know that it's my page that they're looking at. You know, they will know that, oh, this is, you know, a post from Low or something like that right off the bat just because of the way the wall is designed. And then um, another thing is the Locked by Low uh, neon name sign. I got this customized off of Amazon. So that was about $140, which is a really good price from what I found for that size sign. Um, I'm going to bring it just a little closer for you guys. So there you go. You can kind of see the details. And it's got a cord that I hid in the grass that you plug in. And then there's little holes in it so I have it tied to the sign so that it can stay in place and guys I really like it it's nice and bright again that's just to help with um, when I'm taking my pictures for editing so that um, I don't have to do like the watermarking of all my pictures every time I take a picture I could just take the picture one time it will say locked by low in the background and everybody will know that it's my picture so I really like that idea it makes things a lot smoother more convenient for me and yeah so I also decided to put the grass wall right there by the window because I want the pictures to get um, good lighting like when I have the blinds open I want it to get good lighting so that's one thing is to make sure your grass wall is as close to some natural light as possible I just put some curtains over it to make it look nice and fancy and then I also decided to have my ring light right here so I could just swing it over when it's time to take the pictures you know, you can see how it gets a little bit brighter when I swing the ring light over there. So, yeah, that's that area. And then, guys, moving right along. So, here we have our dryer. I actually got this dryer off of Facebook Marketplace about a year ago. So, when I was designing my first in-home salon. So, this um, dryer is a second-hand dryer. It came quite cheap. I think I got it for like $60 and it was in great condition when I got it. She said she had it for about three years and then I've had it for about a year now. So, it's been about four years. And like I said, it was $60. And originally, if I were to get this item brand new, it would be about um, like close to $200 because 
it is two pieces so it could get very expensive all right guys moving along then we have here a ring light which is a must have like must have for your salon space and this was about 130 dollars for the really tall one bright light it comes in like four different hues and things like that and you can change the um you know the the brightness of it and everything like that so that's very important guys sorry that's very important to have the ring light because you can have it uh, casting over your clients while you're doing here and you can also direct it for your pictures so also got that off of amazon i will leave everything in the description link below description box down below so you guys can see the links and then now we can look at this station guys so here is just my braiding wrap that i um i got mine guys from walmart so little do most people know you could get this braiding wrap from walmart it's also in the sewing section because um you know seamstresses and things like that they use it for their thread but we use it for hair so but you can get the same thing from walmart for like less than ten dollars where you know some people might be going online to buy it and it might be ranging in like twenty dollars so you can save some money there and then i have a little mirror for when i want to show my clients the back of their hair then this big mirror guys the big station mirror that i have i got that off of facebook marketplace as well it's another a hand-me-down another second hand item and that was like twenty dollars and it's huge and um i just i thought it was really cute you know i wanted a really big mirror i didn't want to pay a whole lot of money for my station because your girl's on a budget so here's some advice some tips for you if you want to design your space on a budget but yeah let me go on this side and then um another thing is guys i got the lights the vanity lights also off of amazon so it just makes the image a little brighter for when i like turn my clients around and they're looking in the mirror you know it makes the image more bright so that's that okay guys so here is my workstation let me try to get like a decent angle my workstation guys with the mirror and everything like that so the workstation i actually got this dresser this vanity dresser from a thrift store for like 25 dollars i kid you not guys i got it pretty cheap and it actually came in white i just spray painted it black so that you know it can match my decor in my room i wanted everything to be dark so i spray painted it black and i changed the fixtures these used to be gold but they are silver now i spray painted those silver and the knobs um used to be something else and i just switched it from some knobs i got from um home depot or lowe's one of those two and they got like the little rhinestones on them I like those those look cute and on top of it is just all my supplies that i use on a day-to-day -day basis my combs my edge control brushes my retwist gel my edge control this is my hot oil treatment which i have for sale on my website also this is my um growth elixir my oil and my rose water mist you guys know i use all my own products on my clients and then just some clips my spray bottle, my barbicide to keep my um, combs cleaned, and my, like, um, what do you call this? Hot water pitcher. So that makes the hot water for when I'm dipping braids or anything like that. And then underneath my station, I just have a little handy dandy trash can, super important. And my dressers is just more um, hair supplies. Like it's like um, braiding hair, a little bit of extra um, human hair in case I'm doing repairs more clips uh scrunchies rubber bands um things like that and like different kinds of sprays and oil i don't know if you guys saw that but i almost fell but anyways moving right along so up here guys it's just the name of my um business like the big umbrella company it's called maison de lumerie so that's just like the big name i already have locked by low over there on the wall so i decided to put maison de lumerie up there and then a cute little home decor sign it's called it says be you do you for you and i got that um from marshall's yeah <laughs> and then here guys it's just my product shelf so if you guys ever have like products that you want to sell in your shop it's great to have it on display real nice and pretty and big for all your clients to see when they come in i have my um, lock accessories on the top the hot oil treatment and my sample bottles and then below i have my rose water conditioning mist 
my growth elixir, the four ounce bottle and the two ounce bottle. And then guys right here is just the chair that um, I sit on on a regular basis. And um, this hook that I put all of the um, styling capes on, that hook, wall hook, came from a thrift store as well, guys. It was like $7. And it was white. I just spray painted it silver so it could match. But it looks really cute in the room. Also, the lamps I got from a thrift store. Guys, let me tell you something. Go to a thrift store because it has everything that you'll need. Got those matching lamps and those also dim, can get dimmer and can get brighter. Got them for the thrift store, both for $30. And then, guys, these um, floating shelves. So I got the floating shelves from um, Family Dollar. Honestly, I think I got them from Family Dollar. I got the green leaf vines from Amazon. And on top of it is just cute little plants. They're fake. <laughs> but cute little plants um, to bring the room, you know, some greenery because I like the way it looks. It matches the wall. And then I got some candles on there to um you know make the room smell good and then sage so i definitely sage every now and then just to clean the spirits in the room and thing like that and things like that to clean the energy in the room i got those from like a local um some cute little local store and then guys just a futon for my clients to wait on if i'm currently working on a client they have somewhere they can sit and wait and then guys here is my styling chair so i got the chair off of amazon it was about 150 dollars or so and it reclines and it has a headrest so i like that because i tend to off offer services that are quite long like six to eight hours services and sometimes my client may want to you know rest take a nap go to sleep they often fall asleep while i'm working on their hair so that kind of just helps me to make sure their head's not bobbling all over the place okay put your head on this headrest and lean back while i do the top of your head you know you can go to sleep if you want <laughs> so that's definitely helpful for me and then my styling mat there on the floor um i got two and a pack i think it was like 80 dollars. so that was definitely necessary because sometimes you know if their hair is like dripping and they have color i don't want it all over my carpet or anything like that so i have my floor mats but yeah guys that is the gist of the space like i said guys i might have somebody else working in here maybe my um assistant if she ever wants to take clients or I might have somebody else working in here but for the most part it'll just be me and my assistant can just <laughs> do whatever you know she needs to do here at this desk but yeah that's that right there but anyways guys thanks so much for watching I hope you got a lot of cool ideas from um, my space. I hope it was inspiring to you guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I would love to fill you in anymore if I can. All right, guys, this is my <laughs> wash station. So right now it's pretty janky. Basically, it's a wash chair, reclining wash chair, and then a portable bowl, portable wash bowl that is separate. And then the wash bowl just drains into the bucket. So it really doesn't work for me to put the pipe into the um fall into the drain in the sink because it doesn't stay while I'm, you know, draining their hair and rinsing their hair. So I put it into the bucket on the floor. And then when that bucket fills up, I just empty it out into the sink. And then um, to get their hair, my sink doesn't, I can't like, um, twist on a long um hose so i just have to fill up a water pitcher and um rinse and wash their hair like that like i fill it up and then i come over here and i wash their hair so yeah it's a little janky guys for now but there is another option on amazon where it allows you to um it's like an, a portable sink it's kind of like 200 and something dollars so i'll probably invest in one of those next but for now this is what i'm working with but yeah guys that's guys, about it um if you have been thinking about working from home as a hairstylist i highly recommend it it's a great side income part-time job or if you want to pursue your um, passion and really take it on seriously working from home is a great way to start because you'll save a lot of money that way and it's very convenient and uh, as you can see, you know, you can design it and kind of control the environment however you'd like. 
and that's really fun so um definitely you know get started let me know if you have any questions it's been very beneficial for me being able to work from home during the whole you know pandemic and everything just being kind of out of whack you know i've left the shop life and i've been very comfortable working from home i really enjoy it of course there's a lot of precautions you have to take as far as you know safety and things like that but I'm pretty familiar with my clientele, so I didn't have much to worry about, but I know not everybody is the same. So just keep that in mind when you're allowing people to come into your home. But yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed um, my tour. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe.